Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this video is about this motor and these two batteries. Uh, what we're going to be doing is swapping these batteries as it runs. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, I built this relay system a little while back. Um, I did change it um, a little bit. So instead of running the power through these batteries, um, I just have it running on a separate one just for the um, solenoid switching part of it so that it doesn't interfere with the test. So it used to come off here, but now it just goes straight into this little small battery. Um, these are two relays, so one battery comes in from here, the other battery comes in, and then it has two outputs, and um, this will be the input, and this is going to be the output, and about every 16 to 20 seconds it's going to switch the batteries, and you'll be able to see that and see how it works. Um, for those of you who haven't seen this motor before, this is an older fan motor I made. Um, there's no steel in it, it's all um, air core, or plastic core in this case. Um, it's optical timed, it has a speed control built into it. Um, it's actually three MOSFET um, individual circuits that make this self start and run very smooth. So. Anyway, we're going to um, fire this thing up and you guys can see how it goes. So. so I'm going to bring it up to about a half an amp. Maybe a little more, about 550 milliamps. So this is what the motor is using right now. Just a little over half. Um, here's our first battery. So right now this is on the discharge cycle, so it's pulsing backwards into the battery. Um, it's showing about three to four amps, but it's actually quite a lot more in the pulse itself. It's just the amp meter can't react that fast. This is a pretty big meter. And then this battery is the one that we're running off of for this minute. So you can see half amp and then this meter shows it a lot better and then this system right here is my little um, capacitor discharge circuit it's um, four 33,000 microfarad caps um, 25 volts they're all in parallel and then it triggers right around 16 volts um, the motor right now Let's see here. Do about 600 RPMs. Um, this is a 7 in 17 inch fan blade, so it's quite a bit of load for this much amp draw. So I'll just let you guys kind of look at this here. There's a lot of glare. So right now, this one is this one is the run, and then this one is the discharge. And then pick this thing up. So now it'll be switching around. So now we're on this battery is the discharge, and this one is um, the running. And that switches back. So now this one's discharging, charging the battery from the cap bank. And now it switches to this one. It's about every 16 seconds. Um, it's adjustable from 16 seconds to um, hours. I think it goes up to about five hour difference. But uh, for this video, this is kind of a nice flip flop. So you guys can see what's going on. So like I said earlier, um, the small battery is only running the circuit and the solenoid to actuate the switches. So there's no interference uh, with the charge and discharge of the motor to the batteries, which makes for a much more accurate test. Um, in case you're curious, those relays with both of them running at once, um, it's right around 300 uh, milliamps. 
So if we had that hooked into the system, it'd be almost double the power of what the motor is running. So that's why I um, rearranged it and just put it on a separate battery so there's not that interference. So it's a much more accurate test now. So this motor is definitely one of my more efficient ones. Um, has a pulse width modulator speed control on it. Uh, on off switch. Um, yellow and white are the output. Black and red is the input. For those of you who haven't seen this before. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video.